Good morning to you. Welcome to business. President of the Ghana Chamber of Commerce and Industries, Nana Apia Dankawoso I, has charged African Chambers of Commerce to boost the, le the level of intracontinental regional trade to 50% in the coming years. Currently, the level of trade in Africa ranges between 12 and 20%. President of the Chamber said this at the opening of the third Africa Prosperity Conference, which has brought together various Chambers of Commerce in Africa to Accra. The conference will have members deliberate on best practices to be adopted ahead of the signing of the Continental Free Trade Agreement by the end of 2017. Here's more in this report. The African Prosperity Conference is for captains of industry across Africa to renew their commitment to ensuring the fast passage of the Continental Free Trade Agreement. Trade Minister Alan Tremantin revealed that Ghana was taking a closer interest in exploring the best trade deals with other African economies to boost intercontinental trade. For me, we have no choice but to start believing in the fact that this whole enterprise and agenda uh, will work. And if we have no choice and we have to make it work, then it's going to depend on two things. First is our capacity to be able to conclude the negotiations. Everybody who has been involved in trade agreements would understand that starting in the negotiations is important, but the more difficult task is how you conclude it. And it is with extreme pleasure that I find from what the Commissioner is saying that so far the negotiations are going very well. On his part, President of the Pan-African Chamber of Commerce and Industry, who is also President of the Ghana National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Nana Dr. Apiaji Dankawoso I, hinted of Ghana being able to reach its macroeconomic targets by 2020. Well, we, are, we are hoping that we are advocates, even though various governments are going to pass um, sign that agreement on behalf of all of us and uh, the private sector of course is the engine of growth and for that matter we are saying that the trade for now is between 12 and 20. The first year if we put ourselves put ourselves together well we are going to increase um, from 20% to 50%. Joint Business also engaged the High Commissioners of South Africa and Namibia who spoke about some best trade practices in various countries which can be replicated in Ghana. Uh, we need to make sure that our countries are able to trade together and work together on uh, development, industrialization, uh, agriculture and agri-processing and I am sure with a, a continental free trade area, we will be able to trade better. Our AU heads of state have said we need to increase uh, intra-Africa trade from the low, low 15% where it is now to a much bigger percentage to ensure that uh, we support one another, we help each other to grow, to industrialize, and as a continent, to be able to stand on our own. African trade as, as a percentage of world trade is about 2%. That is way too low. Now, the conference like this, what is going to come out of it, and the eventual uh, adoption of, of the free trade area should allow us to, to increase that trade. And ultimately, if we, if we are able to, to, to remove all the trade barriers between our countries and have the infrastructure that will allow us to do that trade, I think if it can go beyond 50 percent, then we'll have made a, 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 a great progress. The two-day conference is aimed at exploring the implications of business-state relations and the importance of the private sector's inputs into the negotiations. Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Investment Promotion Center, UOP Grant, says the newly announced capital requirement for banks would not affect foreign investments, but rather boost investor confidence. He was speaking after the opening of the third Africa Prosperity Conference in Accra. And that's it for now, bringing some more business updates at midday. My name is Imano Abuachi. We are favored. Good morning.